In this video, we'll cover how to get started using ANSYS Discovery with ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. The first step is to navigate to the ANSYS Gateway dashboard, which can be reached at gateway.ansys.com. Once you arrive, you will see a login window where you will need to enter the credentials that have been supplied by your IT team or administrator. Once you've logged in, you will find one or more project spaces. These project spaces contain cloud-based resources that have been configured by your gateway administrator for specific individuals, teams, or projects. After selecting a project space, cloud resources can be defined using the new resource menu. For this demonstration, we'll create a new virtual desktop specifically for ANSYS Discovery. The first step is to select an AWS availability zone. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to start with an availability zone that is close to your geographic location, but there may be situations where you'd select an alternate zone. This might be the case if you need a specific hardware configuration that is not available in your closest zone. For now, let's stick with US East 1C, as it's the only one listed. Templates are saved configurations of virtual machines, or instances. If you find yourself frequently using a particular configuration, you can save some time by saving the configuration as a template and choosing it from the list the next time you need to create an instance. ANSYS Discovery currently only supports Windows as the operating system, so we'll simply click Next here. After choosing our operating system, we can choose the applications to install when our instance is created. If needed, you can always go back and make changes after the virtual machine finishes spinning up. This next page is where we choose the hardware for our instance. Before doing so, let's take a moment to review some of the hardware requirements for Discovery. As we've mentioned, Discovery must be installed on a Windows machine, but it specifically requires an NVIDIA graphics card for its GPU-powered Explore Solver. You'll find the graphics cards listed in the GPU column of the hardware configuration table. Lastly, it's important to note that Discovery does not currently support multiple GPUs. Some hardware configurations list two or four graphics cards, but only one of these cards will be utilized. Ideally, you should not choose those configurations when selecting the machine type. These requirements narrow our selection down to the G3, G4, and G5 instance types. Within a specific family, instances primarily differ in the number of processor cores and RAM. The most significant difference from one machine family to another with regards to ANSYS Discovery is the graphics card and the amount of memory it has. For the current configurations, the NVIDIA Tesla M60 has 8GB of memory, the T4 has 16GB, and the A10G has 24GB. These values should be taken into account if you plan to use the explore functions within ANSYS Discovery. Increasing the overall memory of your GPU will result in the ability to capture smaller features within your simulations. It is generally recommended to choose a large graphics card to ensure the quality of your simulation results. From here, we need to select the amount of hard drive or storage space you will need, which ultimately depends on the needs of your project. Next, you may be prompted to define some tags to help identify your newly created instance. Finally, you will review and create the instance, and here you can also choose to save this configuration as a template for future use. Once you click Create Virtual Desktop, your instance will start generating. This can take around 20 to 30 minutes for a newly defined instance. Starting an existing instance will take significantly less time. Once the instance has been created, you can click Connect to access the virtual desktop. This will download an executable file that will allow you to launch the remote desktop interface. After logging in, you can navigate the remote desktop just like a normal PC. Let's go ahead and launch ANSYS Discovery from the Start menu and begin working. Once Discovery is opened, you will see our welcome screen containing a series of short videos that will help you get acclimated with the program. Discovery is comprised of three modes, Model, Explore, and Refine. Model mode is purely for geometry editing, 
and is great for geometry preparation prior to simulation. Explore and Refine are the upfront simulation modes. Explore mode uses a GPU-powered solver that is great for quick exploratory simulations during the design ideation process. If you wish to access the highest fidelity results, you should utilize Refine mode, which gives you access to a subset of the ANSYS flagship solver technology, but in an easy-to-use interface. At the end of our welcome screen videos, we have the ability to access our embedded interactive tours. These interactive tours will guide you through the process of setting up a variety of different workflows on these listed topics. After closing the welcome screen, you will find yourself at the main discovery interface. If you need guidance at any point, you can press F1 to launch the interactive help tool. While this is active, you can still make selections from the toolbars. The help interface will update to show tips and instructions for the tools you select. You can even carry out operations on your active model. As you can see, there is far more to cover here than we have time for in this brief video. But if you wish to access an extensive library of instructional materials, courses, and tutorials, please visit the ANSYS Innovation Space at courses.ansys.com. This concludes our video on getting started with ANSYS Discovery using ANSYS Gateway, powered by AWS.